Richardson and Andrew Coyne here with another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight, again for the UFC on Fox this weekend. And we're going to take a look at uh, Juliana Pena, who's a very aggressive wrestler, grappler on the ground. But she basically goes all out for the takedown. And in her last fight against Kat Zingano, who's a very strong wrestler herself, her aggression wound up, uh, ended with her on her back on a couple occasions, which led her to show off her butterfly guard. And uh, that's a great technique for wrestlers because it flows right into wrestling again. And uh, those are the techniques we're going to look at. So this specific uh, variation that she did, she had one butterfly hook in, and the butterfly hook is used to elevate my opponent and get him off balance. And then with her other leg, she was great line, which helps break posture. See, that stretches the leg out and can't posture up and hit me with hard strikes. So from that, she had the butterfly hook, double unders, which helps the sweep and the great line. So from here, in an ideal world, what she tried to do is she can lift and sweep in the top position. But against a skilled opponent, like in her last uh, foe against Zangano, it's going to be a little harder. A good wrestler can maintain their balance and it's difficult to sweep. But that's where it leads right back into her wrestling. Now, once she has this position, she has an underhook already. So once her foe, let me get that back in, once her foe is elevated, she can use this underhook to scramble into a wrestling position. Now, usually while she's trying to sweep, she can face and come up here. Now, in an ideal world, again, she can come up here and take a back or something like that. But more likely, and what she did a couple of times in their fight, was she elevated, used that underhook, came up here into a single, which forced Zingano to defend the single instead of trying to maintain top position. So if she doesn't defend the single, she's going to end up on her back. So from that single, who's going to defend, and she's back in the clinch, which is where she likes to work. Now, Shevchenko has showed that if her opponent pursues the clinch with a lot of aggression, that Shevchenko, even though she's a Muay Thai striker, does have good reversals. So if Juliana Pena starts to scramble or is reversed, this could come into play.